What's up, everybody? It's your boy AD, and that's all day. And I'm here to do this SmackDown review for November 25th, 2022. The headline for the night was McIntyre and Sheamus win the war game is advantage en route to Survivor Series. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the advantage was because they had one with the women's too. Like, what is the advantage? What? I, I don't. I don't really know. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's get into it. You know I'm going to tell y'all what I think about last night's show. Um, so the first thing was Becky Lynch returned as the fifth member of Bianca Belair's team uh, and sparked an all-out brawl. So, okay, the fifth person is finally revealed. I kind of was seeing that a little bit. I said that they make us wait to extreme rules. I said it might be somebody like a Charlotte or maybe a Becky. I was really, those were the two main people that were really on my mind was those two. And here they go, like, dang, man, y'all wasted a lot of time on SmackDown, too, with all those damn repeated promos. And then this, I feel like y'all could have did this on Raw. Now, I did like that it wasn't the same old promo into a match stuff, so that was cool. And, I mean, I am happy to see Becky back as a face, too, and on helping Bianca and them out. But not really no shine for Bianca. Like, she's the camping captain, but no shine. Like, if anything, it was all really about Becky coming back and all about Becky. So that's making me automatically think, like, oh, Lord, they probably going to push Becky strong as hell like they pushing Seth. You see how Seth then took off in the guy mode. So now they might do the same thing with Becky, man. She she After this war game, she probably finna start taking off. And uh, please don't have her go against uh, Bianca again. Please, y'all. Please, because I'm so tired. But but what happened was she came in, helped. It kicked off a brawl, and they just all got the brawl. And, again, Becky pretty much got all the shine and attention. Even from the fight, the, the brawl, the five-on-five, five, Becky just winning it all, flipping Bailey, looking good, you know. But the champion, no, not looking that great at all still. Now, again, nothing has really changed too much. You know, a lot of people have been talking about WWE Raw's views and the views starting to drop, and I can see why. And I think it's because of everything that I've been saying. The views are dropping because you're not really making certain people relatable, and you're pushing certain people way too overly hard. And you're, like, making a certain demographic of your superstars just not even worth looking at no more because you're not giving them nothing, really. Now, tonight had a few surprises, I will admit. But is it really going to lead to something? So let's get to that. Next, we got Santos Escobar defeating Butch in the SmackDown World Cup. So, okay, this was kind of unexpected. I'm like, okay, Escobar won, beat Butch. I guess because Butch already got a storyline going on. I guess it doesn't mean that much, right? But And I think Escobar had to get super distracted, too. You know, they, they got to do that. Can't make them lose clean. I, I, I think it would. Yeah, it was like hella interferences in this match. Right, Kevin Owens, right, they started a brawl against the Usos earlier in the day, and that was messed up because during the match, uh, Sammy wasn't even there to help them, and then they ran, right, and then the rest of the um, the brutes went, ran to go help them. So it was like two, like two of them, then three different distractions this match, and then Fantasma finally got the win. So it took a lot of distraction and cheating. Um, So unexpected, though. Then you have Bray Wyatt claim he did not attack L.A. Knight as he continued to battle his demons. Okay, so another promo, another same old Bray Wyatt promo. Bray Wyatt, see, last week was a little different. It was a little different because L.A. interrupted him. This week, it was back to the same old stuff. Back to him coming out, acting like he's a normal person, but he's really sadistic. I mean, it's the same stuff. Right, claiming he didn't hurt him when you know he did or the Uncle Howdy dude or whatever dude name did. Um, running his mouth for a minute, same old stuff, goes to the screen, shows the evil-looking, weirdo-looking Uncle Howdy dude with the drippy eye, showing his ass, it barely can understand what the hell he's saying or what he's doing, you don't understand shit, um, and that was about it, and then he, he said he didn't do it, a clip to him, he talked some weird shit, and that was it, and then that's when LA came out, he talked his mess, and then later on in the show, he was found, like, smashed against, like, a, the garage door, I guess. 
it kind of like how they did him in the last episode where he had all that stuff on top of him. This time he was like pushed up against the door by like some cake. It didn't even really look like it hurt it like that. But yeah, that's what happened to them. Then you had the Viking Raiders defeat Hero. I mean, this is so obvious, right? This match sucked. This sucked. Because again, what's the point? Hero is done. Y'all don't care about Hero no more. It's pretty obvious. Obviously, the Viking Raiders this is gonna come in and beat Hero all easily and embarrass them. Top dollars should be booked way a little harder. Like y'all even make top dollar look weak as hell. Y'all been doing that forever. Y'all got rid of top dollar in that match so fast and couldn't even top dollar couldn't even get back in the ring. It was that simple. They they treated him like he was a joke. And then Adonis just took all the ass whooping. The match was over in like three minutes. Wow. Oh, I mean, come on, man. It's been the same thing with the Viking Raiders. The only feuds I can remember with the Viking Raiders is against the Street Profits, and New Day, and now Head Row. Hmm, what a coincidence. And the only ones that really kind of put up a fight to y'all was Street Profits. But that was like the first one, though. New Day. New Day got destroyed pretty much like how Hit Row is getting destroyed. But Hit Row, man, this seems uh, even worse than New Day because Hit Row just ain't getting nothing. They ain't doing nothing. So that's messed up. Not even giving them a chance. Uh, Caleb Braxton invites the fans to the bump before Survivor Series. What the hell is that? Ricochet is ready for Santos. Okay, right. Well, I'm jumping the gun a little bit. I'm looking at these promos on the side. Okay, then you have Ricochet defeat Braun Strowman in the SmackDown World Cup. Now, this was a surprise. So, yes, I was wrong. My prediction was wrong. I will admit that. I was wrong. I thought Braun was going to win. I was hinting, though, that they were building story with Ricochet, though. I was saying that because I noticed that. I'm like, they kind of building something with him, storyline, you know, because they was giving him a little time. But, and I wasn't, even though, here we go, it took hella distractions, just like Butch match. He couldn't, uh, or he did not win clean. It took hella fucking distractions for um for Ricochet to win the match. But he won, which is still a surprise. I mean, you know me, I love Ricochet. He's one of my favorites. So it was cool to see him win. Now, but at the same time, though, after what happened after the match, then it's like Escobar, I mean, not Escobar, because Gunther is who interrupted it, Gunther and them. But afterwards, Braun was still, like, talking mess to Gunther as if, like, he still might get a shot at Gunther. You know, the way they played it, they basically, like, yeah, Braun lost, but Braun still seems like he's going to get thrown into this somehow. So, I mean, Ricochet probably will be Escobar so it can build that beef back up between him and Gunther because you know they had an IC title bout which was pretty good and Ricochet probably you know it builds up a title match they had in the past now they could have Escobar win and do something new though and have Escobar click go against Gunther click and you know they got a click so they could do that too hmm but I don't see any neither one of them winning though so far, I don't I don't see Gunther winning or uh Escobar I mean uh Ricochet or Escobar winning. I, I think Gunther will win and then somehow, some way they're gonna throw Braun Strowman into fighting him. And that's gonna be messed up because he didn't win no tournament. I was wrong about who won the tournament, but wouldn't it still shock you if they lost and then they just threw him in there? Like, all right, you just fight him now with like no tournament or nothing. Or it'll be like some booty match to get him to do it. Something like that. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, I forgot about that. So, yeah, Emporium came in the ring afterwards, and then they beat the hell out of uh, Braun. They beat up Ricochet. Then they started beating up Braun. And then Ricochet was, like, left. He left, and but then he turned around and helped Braun. I'm like, bullshit. I'm like, Braun wouldn't help you. You was getting your ass beat. He'll let you get your ass beat. No, I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to go run and go help Braun Strowman. And he what he did, he ran in there and helped him, even though he started getting his ass whooped. And then Braun just hops up because he had time and he clears the ring out. So Ricochet still ain't do shit. Uh, and, and Braun still got to look strong and good at the end of this. Like, here we go. Yeah, Ricochet won, but who gets all the shine? Braun Strowman. Just pay attention. Sometimes it's not so much about wins and losses. It's about the shines and the future and the story progression. Because you got to think of the future, you know, like, yeah, this happened, but look what's leading it into, you know. 
Um, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler defeats Raquel Rodriguez and Shotzi. Like, man, this was already messed up because Ronda and them and Ronda run around with that ugly Shayna Baszler makeup now. Uh, that makeup is like, come on, run. <laughs> I laughed my ass off when I seen that makeup. Just like how I laughed my ass off when I seen Zelina Vega's hat she came out with. I'm like, look at this damn hat. But, um, yeah, they jumped Raquel and Shotzi backstage. Shotzi ended up coming out, and it turned into a two-on-one handicap match. You know they was working Shotzi over. Raquel comes back with her arm, um, tries to fight them off, tries to compete in the match with a hurt arm but it doesn't matter because they just are that damn boss and Shayna and Ronda you know ain't losing shit and they bossed them up and she should never came back with that hurt arm because they just took full advantage of it I mean come on you're getting back in the ring with a hurt limb with Shayna and Ronda two people who love to hurt and break limbs yeah mm -hmm. they won and then at the very end Shotzi cut this like one of her meanest promos ever. This is why I got this picture on the side of Shotzi going crazy because she cut this mean promo with her scars and she was like, oh, I'm going to do this. Like she really like that's the hardest I ever heard her talk like and threaten like, man, I'm really get at uh, Rhonda. So we'll see what happens tonight with that. But she really cut that promo like, I'm going to get you, Ronda. You're not going to do nothing. It's this, this, our match. Like, oh, God, Ronda versus Shotzi title on the line. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But we know Ronda is going to win this match. And then we had the end. We had Drew McIntyre and Sheamus defeat the Usos in the War Games match. Now, this was, I mean, you know they was beefing the whole time. Kevin Owens came out of nowhere and told Sammy, like, hey, they going to turn on you, even though that's bullshit. How you going to tell Sammy he turning when he'd been the fake one the whole time? So that's bullshit right out the gate. And then and then Sammy just act like he was taking Kevin's advice. Meanwhile, Jay was sitting there listening to him the whole time, but he didn't know that he was listening. He heard that conversation between him and Kevin. And then that's when Jay came out after Kevin dipped. And he was like, hey, you know, he asked him, like, you talk to anybody? You do anything? You see anybody? And then Sammy said no. So now Sammy's lying, acting as if he wants to listen. So here go this whole same old stupid drama going again. And now they're in the match. Usos versus Drew and Sheamus. Here go. And I knew that, too. I'm like, watch. When it's a match with just the Usos, the ones who they seem to dislike the most, even though they got the titles, because uh, I'm noticing that, too. The titles are starting to become excuses, just like with Bianca. You only got her with the title just so you can keep shitting on her and embarrassing her and not giving her no clout. So, And then if anybody say anything like, well, this is happening to her, and then people will be like, well, she got the title. See, that's why they're doing it, just like with the Usos. And, and oh, well, they got the title. Usos got the title. Roman got the title. Well, why are they keep getting beat up and shit on and embarrassed now, and they're not looking strong anymore? See, the titles are starting to just become the cover-up until they're gone. Okay, just like Bianca. Bianca got the title. See, that's why they let her keep it. That Remember, at first, I'm like, they're just going to take it. But now nah, they're going to keep it so they can keep using her. Just like now, war games. Oh, I got you with all five of them. Why she couldn't be doing something different like Ronda? Come on, because they want to use her before they take that title. Just like these Usos. They're going to use you. Come on, man. Like I said, y'all beat Drew how many times? Y'all beat Sheamus how many times? Y'all beat these dudes how many times? And now they threw a little stupid group together with Kevin Owens, and now they can just start bossing y'all up. Bullshit. Roman wasn't there, though, but... Bullshit. You know it was a lot going on in this match. It was the end. You know it was a whole bunch of shit going on. Right, the master sheets her stages from ringside. The referee was dealing with Sammy. KO climbed in and hit Jay. Right, that's what happened. Right, Sammy was finna, he picked up the belt. He was finna try to hit somebody with the belt. Ref called him, tossed him out, which led Kevin Owens to come in the ring Hit Jay with a stunner, and then right at, and then so Kevin Owens did not get caught. And, I mean, what the hell, man? It's like everybody's heels too. What the fuck? Everybody's cheating. And then after um he got hit with the stunner, then that's when Sheamus or was it Drew? Uh, no, nah, it was Sheamus. Sheamus came in and hit him with a uh, Claymore kick, and it was it, man. Or the bro kick or whatever. Or maybe it was Drew. I don't know. Either way, he went down. And that was it. They lost. And then they was looking embarrassed. You see Drew flipping over the ropes. Hitting everybody. 
Yeah, Usos lost, man. And Usos look even more in the hot mess now because now Sammy definitely looks like he's up to no good, which we been should have known, people. I still don't get why people are cheering for a snake. I, I just, with, with no charisma, I, I just don't get that. I don't get that at all. And then people got hyped, like, and then act brand new. Like, okay. But all right, man, that was it. That was the show. I mean, this show did have a few surprises, a few, n- not still not really that great because I could see the progression. But mm, I guess I can give you a 2.5. I guess I can ease the score up a little bit to 2.5 because you did, Becky, you did get Becky's return and they did get a big brawl. You had a few surprises with the World Cup. Um,. Yeah, and the the ending, the, the sassy promo, um, and the ending was a little okay. It was more okay for the controversy than really the outcome. So I guess two point five for me. And make sure y'all guys check me out later tonight because I'm gonna try my best to stream Survivor Series War Games tonight. So see me there at seven o'clock Central Time. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and I'll definitely try to keep y'all up to date with more of the wrestling talk. See you later and peace.